Hope you like the new Atlanta because it sounds like that might become Texas as well. Well, Texas isn't becoming Atlanta and Atlanta's not becoming Texas in like the geographical sense, but rather Texas Motor Speedway is likely just going to become what Atlanta Motor Speedway is, a high-speed drafting track, which is really kind of unfortunate. So Texas Motor Speedway was ruined in 2017 when Eddie Gossage and Marcus Smith decided to lower the banking in turn one and two and widen the track out for no reason at all because no car would ever have ran all the way at the top of the racetrack there. Uh, they left three and four the same and then they added a ton of PJ1 to the surface and has basically made that track surface undrivable. So now for the last year plus, all we've heard about are rumors of a reconfiguration and nothing has actually been made public up to this point. Kyle Busch this weekend said that the rumors that he's been hearing is that Texas will become what the new Atlanta is, which is really unfortunate, but in a different way of unfortunate. What should have happened is Atlanta should have just been repaved in its former state before they raised the banking and turned it into a super speedway. It should have just been a traditional repave at Atlanta. Texas should have become what Atlanta is now. Texas is the one that the racing surface is bad here already. You've already ruined the track with the first reconfiguration. What they should have done is just raise the banking up there, turn Texas into a super speedway race, and call it a day. It's weird that all three of NASCAR's drafting tracks, Daytona, Talladega, and Atlanta, are all in the southeast. Maybe spread the wealth out a little bit and move one to Texas. At the same time, though, having two of these mile-and-a-half drafting tracks on the schedule isn't really that enticing unless Atlanta loses one of its dates and that goes to to Texas but I don't think anybody's necessarily asking for seven drafting tracks a year. NASCAR figures that if we can't make them have pack racing based on the package that we've been running then we might as well just turn all the racetracks into drafting tracks because that's what is seems like it's happening at least that's what SMI is doing and maybe it'll put butts in seats and that's really what they care about. But at the end of the day, like Atlanta is going to wear out relatively soon and running in a pack is going to be extremely difficult. Maybe Atlanta just goes back to being your traditional mile and a half with the regular speedway package and not the drafting track package. And maybe Texas just becomes what Texas is. They'll just use the pavement that they repaved Charlotte Motor Speedway with 17 years ago and it still looks brand new in 2023. Just do that in Texas if you want that to just be the new drafting track. Either way, having two of these tracks is just... And unfortunate is the word that keeps coming to mind. What Texas should have done is, other than just absolutely bulldozing it and turning it into a warehouse uh, park, which I think a lot of people would champion for, they should have done something more innovative. And they're obviously limited because they built condos outside of turn two, but I think we could bully Texas into making something bigger and better. Texas loves to pride itself on being everything's bigger in Texas. We, we get it. The Texan way. Big sky. There's no bigger sky than what you see in Texas. All the things that, you know, the Texas people say. Even the cinnamon rolls are big Texas. Everything has to be bigger in Texas. A mile and a half super speedway is pretty much run of the mill at this point, right? We already seen Atlanta do it. There's nothing special about doing it there. What they should do, knock those dumb condos down. They have plenty of property on the back side of the track and outside turn three and four, and they should really just turn it into a two-mile super speedway. That's something different. We don't necessarily have that. Or turn it into a two-and-a-half-mile super speedway. I don't really care. They have to obviously work around how their front stretch is, is set up there uh, based on the stands, but there's definitely something you can do. And I think that would be at least more unique than what we've already seen. We've seen Atlanta. What The, the biggest fault with Atlanta right now in terms of it, its race is how tight the corners actually are. I think having a two mile track widens those corners out, extends the corners a little bit, and allows for more moves to happen. The What happens with Atlanta right now is it's really narrow and the corners are really tight and it just doesn't necessarily produce the best racing. I know a ton of people love the new Atlanta, which is great for them, but I think a two mile racetrack in Texas would be a lot better. Uh, I saw somebody mention that they should run the Texas Road. Well, they should absolutely not because this car races so poorly on road courses. Well, not poorly. It doesn't do it doesn't produce a good race. It races actually too well on road courses. But the Roval setup at Texas is absolutely wild, um, which I kind of wish we saw it with the Gen 6 car. Either way, you're not going to get a short track at Texas. They can't even figure out how to turn Fontana into a short track. Texas certainly isn't going to do that because, again, everything's bigger in Texas. And in their mindset, you can't go smaller. You can only go bigger. Even if smaller might mean better, can't do it. This is Texas. So outside of that other than maybe turning it into a giant Bucky's or like the world's largest Whataburger, 
uh, Texas is kind of stuck where they're at. Their footprint is basically dictated by their grandstand on the front stretch and that stupid condo out back, which has a Texas shaped pool, the most unreasonable shape for a pool ever. There's no good angles to it. It's really mu pretty much a worthless pool if you want to do any pool activities other than standing in it. Regardless, they need to do something other than just what Atlanta did. And maybe the Texas thing, high, high speed, no limits Texas or whatever Eddie Gossage used to say, maybe they just do like 40 degree banking. They just go absolutely wild with it. That would be different. That would be not safe, but it'd be different. Uh, so maybe they do something like that. But I would really like to see them do something actually different, innovative, like we're going to reconfigure the track. Basically, we're just going to add on to it and make it a bigger racetrack if you're going to do that super speedway route. If not, I would just go back to what it was before that reconfiguration in 2017. Lower the bank or raise the banking back up in turn one and two rather, narrow the track down again, and we'll just call it a day. Use that really porous asphalt that they used at Atlanta so you can allow it to start to wear in and it's not just a single lane racetrack on the bottom. Either way, unless they do a super speedway style setup, the racing at Texas is still going to suffer for the next three or four years because it's just going to be single lane on the bottom. And hopefully they don't get this stupid idea in their mind to put all this PJ1 down the racetrack and ruin it again because history does love to repeat itself and sometimes not the smartest people are in charge of things. Regardless, Texas is likely going to get a reconfiguration. It, They've apparently requested a spring date in 2024 on the schedule, which obviously would give them plenty of time to work through the summer on whatever they plan on doing to this racetrack. And then if they request a fall date in 2025 back into the playoffs, if that's where SMI wants to put this date at, then it works out really well and gives them tons of time, like 18 months to, to be able to set up for whatever they plan on doing. But it does seem like something's going to happen, so shout out to Kyle Busch for kind of airing that out. But I'm not necessarily sure we need another super speedway, drafting track, whatever you want to call it. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see them do. I saw somebody mention that they should just do a Texas World Speedway or go back to Texas World Speedway, which is hilarious because it's a neighborhood. Um, but I wouldn't mind seeing that sort of setup. Again, they're limited by their footprint. So follow me on TikTok, at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Threads, at Break Hard Blog. Like and subscribe to the channel.